One of the biggest aviation casualties of the pandemic has been the Airbus A380. Very early on in March 2020, Air France announced it would be retiring all of its Airbus A380 superjumbos early. The airline previously had nine in its fleet at the time. But what has happened to each of these jets since their retirement? Air France had initially said it would retire its aging fleet of 10 A380-800s by 2022. The first aircraft had actually left the fleet in December 2019, before the pandemic really started. Registered Foxtrot Hotel Papa Juliet Bravo, the aircraft was leased, joining Air France in February 2010. The lesser flew the aircraft to Malta for stripping, and it was eventually broken up earlier this year in Northern Ireland. The remaining nine aircraft were due to be phased out slowly, but when the pandemic hit, the airline took the plunge and retired all nine almost immediately. Eight of the aircraft were placed into storage, where according to Planespotters.net, they remain to this day. The only exception is the aircraft registered with Air France as Foxtrot Hotel Papa Juliet Echo, and now re-registered as Niner Hotel Alpha India Yankee. The jet is now part of the German company Dr. Peters Group. The company has three aircraft, including another A380. Not having to do with anything medical-related, as the name might suggest, the firm invests in aircraft, ships and real estate, usually antiques. However, its newest A380 from Air France is just 11 years old. Storing aircraft is an exact operation. The pandemic has meant huge numbers of aircraft have been placed into long-term storage, so space is at a premium. Aircraft need to be kept dry in places where humidity could damage the metal. As such, Air France sent two of its A380s to Teruel in Spain to protect the aircraft. Even if an aircraft is going to be scrapped and used for parts, the plane still needs to be protected from environmental damage. Six of the airline's A380s are still in France at the Tarbre Lourdes de Pyrenees airport. Tarmac Aerosave uses the airport as a boneyard and began dismantling A380s back in 2018. The group also has a base in Teruel, where it will likely dismantle Air France's other A380s. Since the A380s are still in storage, they could be rescued by an airline looking to give them a new lease of life. Some of the A380s are just 10 or 11 years old, making them very young to be scrapped. Some airlines like Emirates have indicated that they have no plans to retire their A380s just yet. A rebound in international long-haul travel could see these superjumbos picked up, or at least some of their parts. Ultimately, it's unlikely all of Air France's A380s will be saved intact, and chances are they'll be scrapped and used for parts. Air France seems happy to see the end of the A380, but with a handful of airlines still choosing the aircraft, there's a very, very small chance we could see a few of the Super Jumbos repainted and back in the skies. What do you think will happen to these retired A380s? Will they ever come out of storage? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. In addition to our daily YouTube videos, Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles and a podcast every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like and subscribe before you go.